Yes, it is. I'm coming from John chapter 19. All right. <laughs> after just after this, Jesus knowing mm -hmm. that all things were accomplished mm -hmm. and that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Uh -huh. This is the fifth saying of Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The five symbolizes grace, goodness, and favor for each other. Yeah, yeah. Understanding that we just had four words just said to us. Uh -huh. And the last and the first four words deals with a fellowship with mankind. Yeah, yeah. Teaches us how we ought to be treated to others through God and by God. Mm -hmm. Right. Might be saying, What do you mean, preacher? Well, I'm glad you asked. Yeah. <laughs> See, Jesus said, I thirst. This was the first time he echoed his own personal desire. Yeah, uh, yeah. Every other word he pointed out was described or addressed to somebody else. All right, all right. It was until the fifth word he speaks on his own personal wants. Yeah. Even at death, he put others first. Yeah, yeah. You know he was 100% uh, man, but yet he was still 100% God. Yes, yes, yes. He put others first because he says first, Father, forgive them. Yeah. 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 But they know not what they do. He addressed what we heard Sister Davis said was his in it. Yeah. Secondly, he said, oh, this day you shall be in paradise yes. with me. Yes. Talking to a sinner man like you and I. Yes. Yes. Thirdly, he said, behold, mother, behold thy son. Yes. And son, behold thy mother. Uh -huh. He dealt with that. Then he also dealt with the part where he said, Father, yes. Yes. I know that you have to escape. <laughs> So he dealt with his own human nature. Yeah. Come down to this good work. Mm. When we deal with his personal desire, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. 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 I wondered to myself truly what he was thirsty for. Yeah. The scripture he proclaimed, or the process of the scripture proclaimed that, and this wasn't the first time this was said. Yeah, it was in the book of Psalms and Psalms 65 where it states that you I shall give you gall and you shall drink sour wine. But this what Jesus said until the scripture mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it made me wonder what truly did he thirst for? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Let's take a few minutes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Think about what I just said. Uh -huh. yeah. It wasn't, but if we read two chapters over, we'll find out Jesus was talking to a woman at Samaria. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. In that process of talking to her, she, he told her, there is a water, a living uh -huh. water yeah. that shall flow from her. Right. Yeah. 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 I that, then, I, then after he told her that, then I thought about, mm, Jesus just suffered something. Yeah. yeah. What you mean, preacher? Well, I'm lucky to ask. <laughs> he lost him. He been separated from his body. Right. Right this was the first time he ever suffered from anything. What you mean, preacher? Well, he went from just to all. Mm 
Thank you. 